it's time for a drone motor upgrade. First, let's take a look in the box. What we have here is a set of four of these MEPS SZ2408 2500 KV motors that are suitable for four or six S builds. Big thanks to MEPS for sending these out. Feel free to check out their store at MEPSKing.com. The drone that I'm gonna be putting these on is right here. This is my very first FPV drone, custom built over four years ago. And believe it or not, these are the original motors that I put on this thing over four years ago. This drone has really been through it and it's definitely past due for an upgrade. Let's take a quick look at all this drone has been through that's led to this point. Let's take a look to see what we've got inside the box. Okay. Ooh, I could already tell they're pretty. Oh, look at that. That is shiny. I like that. Oh, SZ2408 space. And this is the blue color. It's kind of like a more of a teal, if you ask me, but it is definitely a neat color. And I like the design here on the bell. Plenty of wiring, should have plenty of reach. We also get some mounting hardware. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are the fanciest motors, at least fanciest looking motors that I have now. Yeah, these things are sweet. Let's talk a little bit about the tools that I'm gonna to be using to put them on. So first I'm going to remove these props so they don't get in my way. This is the iFlight prop tool here that I would highly recommend if you're curious. So next we're going to remove the old motors. Now I actually have some race wire installed on two of the arms of this quad. That just makes it a little bit easier to swap the motors in and out, especially in the field if I would need to replace a motor. The front two do not have race wire so I'm actually going to be installing two additional race wires up in the front. And next I'm gonna to have to detach the motors from the frame by loosening these four screws here. There we go. I've got quad skids on this quad in case you're curious what this is. It's a way for me to skid the drone as I land it, which is pretty fun. Now that the motor's detached from the frame, I'm just gonna have to heat up these three solder joints to detach it from the race wire. So my soldering iron is heated up here. I'm just gonna touch it to those joints just to heat it up just enough to pull it off. There's one, two, and three. And I'm gonna remove these pads here from the old motors as well. And for the motor up front with no race wire installed, I'm just gonna go ahead and sever the wires here to give myself enough slack so I can install that race wire. So I taped down the race wire to each of the front two arms of the quad. You can see these pads here that I'm just gonna add a little bit of solder to to help me make the joints where I'm gonna connect the motors to the wire, which then connects it to the ESC on the drone. All right, so the race wires are installed in the front arms of the quad. Next step is to trim down the wiring here coming from the ESC so I don't have too much slack and I can get connected to the back pads here and here. And then I'm gonna to have to trim down the wiring on the actual motor itself. You see I have plenty of slack, definitely don't need that much to get this thing connected to the front pads here on the race wire. So for this, I'm gonna grab my wire strippers and go ahead and start stripping the wire. Now let's go ahead and get the wiring coming from my ESC connected to the back of this race wire.
Not that I have the wires connected to the ESC going to the ends of the race wire in the front two arms here. We are ready to attach the motors. So what we're going to do is attach this here, and then I'll get these trimmed down and attached to the front of those race wires. And I'm going to be reusing the quad skids here since they still have a little bit of life left in them. Okay, so there we have it. All four motors are mounted to the frame. Most of the wiring is done here. All that's left is we'll have to trim up the wiring coming off of the motors so that way it's short enough so I can just get connected to the front of this race wire and these race wires here in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim these up and we'll get them soldered on. All right, everything's in place. Motors are mounted, race wires connected, everything's wired up to the ESC. Next thing we're gonna do here is clean everything up, put it back together, and we're gonna test these motors out. All right, I got this thing cleaned up. We're ready to test it now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in one of my LiPos and see if we get any juice to the motors. Okay, my beeper's going off and I can actually feel vibrations in all four motors. That's a good sign. And next we're going to spin them up. All right, with the motors installed, I'm pretty sure I got the props installed in the correct orientation here. We know they spin anyway. Uh, now we're gonna do a hover test. So I'm just gonna put it down here um, in an open field with plenty of soft ground. So if it doesn't go well, hopefully I won't damage anything. Now that I know that this thing can fly, it's time for a full throttle test. It's one of my favorite things to do. If you've ever seen my channel, I do a lot of it. Anyway, I'm gonna set it down on the platform and I'm going to just launch full throttle straight up into the sky. I'm gonna hear what these motors sound like at that speed and also get a feel for how they perform at those high speeds. This thing, even though it's 4S, it's feeling a lot more like a 6S now with these new motors. Definitely packs more of a punch, has a lot more zip. So now it's time to just do some flying. I'm gonna get this thing back up in the air, a fresh pack, and just do some flying, some tricks, some little moves, some low level flying, clearing some gaps, just to get a feel for how, how this thing handles with these new motors installed. So would I recommend these motors? Absolutely. If you're building or just upgrading an existing drone, uh, these motors are solid. My initial impression has been nothing but positive. They look great, they sound great, and they feel great. And um, the value is great. $25 a, a motor pretty much for this, the exact set that I have here anyway. And they perform. So they're super fast. I mentioned that they made my 4S drone feel more like a 6S drone. 
just the amount of uh, pop and zip that I get out of the motors, especially at those full throttle speeds, I'm very impressed. Now, I can't really speak to the test of time with these. The other drone motors that I had on this particular quad lasted me four years and they're still working actually, and they've been through a lot. So I'm going to have to continue testing this drone, get it crashing into some things and see how these things hold up. I didn't crash it yet, so these are obviously still pretty looking. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens once I start getting them banged up. But so far overall, we got some awesome motors here from MEPS. So if you want to check them out again, check them out at MEPSKing.com. These are the SZ2408 2500 kilovolt space motors in blue. So check them out. And again, thanks to MEPS for sending these motors out to me. All right, please like the video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. I'll see you in the next one.